Our planet's ice sheets are enormous, around 10 million square kilometers in size, and they're melting. But just how much fresh water is flowing into our oceans and how quickly has been notoriously difficult to assess. The climate can vary widely from one part to another. They're affected by different weather events, the thickness of the ice, the temperature and flow of the ocean around it. The long-held view of the IPCC, that's the UN body dealing with climate change, has been that if we do nothing and continue on our current trajectory, sea levels could rise by as much as a metre by 2100. Here's the coastal city of Miami by that assessment. But new scientific research just published in the US predicts sea levels will rise by twice as much. The city of Shanghai would cease to exist, along with many island nations and other coastal cities. The two metre sea level rise that we, we project 2100 is not the most likely scenario, but it is a plausible scenario. So it is one that we should consider if we want to plan and adapt to future sea level rise. It was based on the assumption that we carry on increasing our um, emissions of greenhouse gases into the future. And I mean, sadly, carbon emissions have carried on increasing even after uh, the Paris Agreement in 2015. The authors combined the assessments of 22 scientists and insist this is a worst case scenario, a world where we've not taken action, where global temperatures have hit five degrees Celsius and the world's seas have risen by two metres. They say there is still time to act, but that has yet to happen. Just last week, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency said carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere from burning fossil fuels such as oil and coal is now at its highest level in human history. Mariana Hond, Al Jazeera.